Welcome to Motor City Community Credit Union's annual general meeting. While watching the meeting, please feel free to interact with us using the chat option. To use the chat, you will need to be signed in with your YouTube or Google account. If you do not have either of those, you can email your feedback to info at mccu.com. If your feedback requires a detailed answer, we will get back to you directly within 24 hours. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the meeting. Windsor, the city of roses, the automotive capital of Canada, a city rich in heritage with a history that cannot be edited or erased. Motor City Community Credit Union, steadfast in ethical values and local decision making. A pillar within this community for eight decades, we have continually put people before profits and we're proud of where we've been, but more importantly, where we're going. Thank you, Windsor Essex, for giving us much to celebrate. This amazing place we call home. The years we've spent serving it and the many reasons community is right there in our name. Motor City Community Credit Union. We see what you see for 80 years and counting. Members and guests, it is my distinct pleasure to call to order our 2023 Annual General Meeting. At this time, I invite you to join us for our National Anthem, performed by the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. Please join me in a moment of silence in memory of our dearly departed members. For those of you who have joined the virtual AGM, we will now be following the agenda. The agenda was previously approved by members and this motion carries. I would like to thank all of our members and guests for taking the time out of their busy schedules to attend our 2023 virtual annual general meeting. It is with great pleasure that I acknowledge and introduce our current board of directors, Vice Chair Helga Rydell, Vice Chair Bill Mara, Corporate Secretary Wendy Gratt, Director Jim Angus, Director Staffa Boucher, Director Randy Dupi, Director Sandra Fisher, Director Mark Moore, Director Amy Walters, and I am Don Fraser, the Chair of the Board of Directors for the 2022-2023 year. This year's meeting will run the same as we did last year for calling and voting on the meeting's motions. All of today's motions were voted on ahead of time during the voting period of June 9th to June 23rd, 2023, and were verified by our Chief Returning Officer, Anthony Mascaro from Roth Mosey and Partners, whom I call upon now to say a few words about our results. Hi, my name is Anthony Mascaro, and I'm the Chief Returning Officer. I'm here to confirm that there were three vacancies created 
by the expiration of board terms. There were a total of six applications received. I can attest that the voting for the election and the 11 AGM motions is complete and accurate. Item 5A, Business Meeting Member Registration. In addition to the members registered for the virtual AGM, all members who previously voted are also considered to be registered attendees of this meeting. I can confirm that we have more than our required 20 members in attendance, and I declare that we have a quorum. Item 5B, Minutes of the Virtual 18th Annual General Meeting. The minutes are available online on our website, where you can obtain a printed copy at one of our branches. The minutes were previously approved by members and this motion carries. Item 5C, Report of the Audit Committee. This report can be found on page 18 of the annual report. The 2023 annual report is available online on our website, where you can obtain a printed copy at one of our branches. The report of the Audit Committee was previously approved by members and this motion carries. Item 5D, Report of the Auditor. I will now call on Michael Frenette, our external auditor from Baker Tilly, to speak on behalf of the report of the auditor. This report can be found on page 20 of the annual report. Hi, I'm Michael Frenette from Baker Tilly, Windsor. Our firm has audited the financial statements of Motor City Community Credit Union, which comprise the statements of financial position at March 31st, 2023, and the statements of comprehensive income, members' equity, and cash flows for the year then ended, and notes to the financial statements, including a summary of accounting policies. In our opinion, the financial statements present fairly, in all material respects, the financial position of Motor City Community Credit Union at March 31st, 2023, and its financial performance and its cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with international financial reporting standards. The report of the auditor was previously approved by members and this motion carries. Item 5E, Review of the financial results. I will now call on our Chief Financial and Risk Officer, Drake Reed, to speak on behalf of the financial results. The summary financial statements can be found starting on page 21 of the annual report. Good evening. I thank you for allowing me to present to you the highlights of Motor City Community Credit Union's annual financial statements for fiscal 2023. I'm pleased to report that Motor City had another solid year of financial performance, which has put the credit union into a strong financial position. These results could not have been achieved without our diligent staff and the commitment we have from you, our members, and the community at large. At March 31, 2023, Motor City's assets totaled $518 million. This is a 7.7% growth over the previous year. This was driven primarily through growth in loans to members, which increased 9.3% through the year. Net interest income, which is the primary source of income for the credit union, increased 6.99% to $9.8 million. Other income, which is generated primarily through service charges and commissions, decreased by 20% over the previous year for a total of $1.4 million. Operating expenses increased 11.6% over the previous year. The largest increases were seen in personnel, administration of expenses, and computer service costs. These increases were due to the addition of new staff, increased operating costs from inflation, and the addition of new delivery service channels for the members. Total comprehensive income for the year was $2.5 million. The credit union returned $550,000 to the membership in the form of dividends. These results further increased the financial stability of the credit union. Our leverage ratio for year-end was 6.46%, and our risk-weighted capital ratio was 12.77%. These measures of capital risk are well above industry minimums and reflect the strong capital position of the credit union. The credit union's liquidity ratios also ended the year well above regulatory minimums. Your member equity ended the year at $30.3 million, which is a 6.28% increase over the previous year. I would again like to reiterate that these results could not have been achieved if not for the amazing hard work and commitment of our incredible staff and the support of our membership. Thank you. The financial results was previously approved by members and this motion carries. Item 5F, our Chief Executive Officer, Robert Griffith will now speak on behalf of the report of the Chief Executive Officer and Chair of the Board of Directors. This report can be found on page six of the annual report. Well, thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I think Drake did uh, a fantastic job and I think he made it very clear that the financial health of this credit union has never been stronger. Why, why is that? Well, one of the reasons is more and more of our area residents are choosing to do business with Motor City Community Credit Union. So what happened nationally? The landscape in the Canadian economy this past year was characterized by two main events. Firstly, 
interest rates rose quickly and substantially this past year. In fact, the increase, increase was historic. It's good news if you're purchasing a GIC, but difficult news if you're a borrower, whether an individual or a business. We're aware of that. Secondly, inflation levels remain high. And in fact, they've been at their highest levels in the past 40 years. Inflation has a more insidious effect on lower income earning Canadians. We're aware of that too. The trip to the grocery store tells this unhappy tale. Prices for everything have gone up, but they did not go up here. In terms of inflation, I want to let you know that we made a deliberate decision. We did not raise any fees or charges this past year. We remain one of the very few providers in the country that offer a truly free banking experience. No minimum balance, no small print. And here is even better news. We have frozen again for fiscal 24, meaning there will be no increase in fees or charges for the balance of fiscal 2024. This highlights just one of the benefits of dealing with your local banking alternative. I'm also very pleased to report that our investment shareholders have received a dividend of 4.50%. This dividend was declared by your board of directors and was paid on May 18th, 2023. As a core principle, we believe in paying a superior rate of return to our member shareholders. Fiscal 2023 saw major local announcements as well. We talked nationally, this is local. There were announcements both good and bad. The recent announcements in the auto sector reaffirmed Windsor as the preeminent automotive destination in Canada and North America. And if you have driven by the Gordie Howe Bridge recently, you will notice the progress there. It's significant. There are a lot of exciting projects underway that give our region a deep sense of optimism. We are optimistic here at Motor City. Now, 2023 also saw some sad and difficult events as well. The closing of the Windsor Star was particularly poignant for us. You may not be aware, but the very beginning of Motor City Community Credit Union traces its roots back to a group of employees in 1939 at the Windsor Daily Star. Without those employees at the Windsor Daily Star, this credit union may never have existed. Back in 1939, banks would only lend money to white collar workers. Well, the employees of the newspaper in that year got together and formed a credit union called Printers Industrial Credit Union. Fast forward many years when Printers Industrial Credit Union joined with other local credit unions like SWNA, Ford, etc., to form what is today known as Motor City Community Credit Union. But make no mistake, the employees of the Windsor Daily Star were first. And for that, we are thankful for their determination to establish a credit union 84 years ago. Now to the current employees at the Windsor Star. We met with some of those employees impacted by this devastating announcement. And we stated to them that we stood with them. We went on to say that our credit union was indebted to the visionaries of the Windsor Daily Star dating back to 1939. We expressed that we wanted to honor the legacy of that generation by doing whatever we could financially for the current generations affected by the closure. So in a sense, the credit union had come full circle. Well, in closing, I wanna say that last year we promised a brand new division of Motor City and we delivered. The Wealth Management Division opened for business in the fall of 2022. Our theme is accessible advice and the response has been overwhelming and we invite you to come and visit our two wealth professionals. And remember, unlike other places, you don't need to have a certain level of assets to visit. The advice we are offering is for everyone. It is for you. Finally, you will have seen meaningful enhancements to our online and mobile banking applications this past year. The key word is usability, and usability has greatly improved, but be sure, protecting your privacy and your personal information is at the pinnacle of everything we do. Much more is coming in 2024, so stay tuned. You know we have a great team. We have a great team committed to serving you and bettering our community. 
And it's my privilege, it really is a privilege, to say on behalf of those employees, thank you for choosing Motor City Community Credit Union as your financial services partner. Thank you. The CEO and chair of the board of directors report was previously approved by members and this motion carries. Item 5G, external auditor appointment. The board of directors is recommending the appointment of the auditing firm Baker Tilly as the external auditors for Motor City Community Credit Union for the next fiscal year. The appointment of the external auditors was previously approved by members and this motion carries. Item 5H, general bylaw amendment. It will be recommended that the bylaws be updated to accommodate the changes that have been made to the C Credit Union and Case Populars Act 2020, the Act. In March 2022, the Act received royal assent and became law. The Act was necessitated the Motor City Community Credit Union to update its bylaws in order to meet the new legislative requirements. Significant changes are as follows. New and amended definitions, content being removed from the bylaws to a board proof policy, example, qualifications for directors additional to those required by the Act, nomination and election procedure, greater discretion in the manner of voting at annual general meetings to permit the board to deal with circumstances which may require or make preferable a particular manner of voting, clarification of director term limits, permitting stricter enforcement of those limits, modernization of the ways in which notice can be given of a membership meeting, and providing that each annual general meeting will consider a report on the gender diversity of the board. Item 5I, 2023 Director Election Results. The election results were previously voted on by the membership during the voting period, June 9th to June 23rd, 2023. The three successful candidates have all been elected for a three-year term and are as follows. Michael Saluch, Randy Dupi, Richard Venantilli. I would like to extend a special thank you to Anthony Mascaro from Roth Mosey, our Chief Returning Officer who oversaw the 2023 AGM Director Election and Voting Process. I would also like to thank the staff and members of the Human Resource Committee for making this a successful AGM voting process. Item 5J, destroy the ballots. The Chair noted that this motion was previously approved by the members. This motion carries. Item 5K, unfinished business. We have no unfinished business from the 2023 virtual annual general meeting, and we received no questions or feedback from members during the AGM motion voting period. Item six, adjournment of the meeting. I will now call the meeting to be concluded. Adjournment was previously approved by members and this motion carries. In closing, on behalf of your board of directors, management and staff of Motor City Community Credit Union, Thank you all for attending our 2023 virtual annual general meeting and for your continued commitment and support of Motor City Community Credit Union, where we truly embrace our credit union values of people helping people. Thank you again and have a nice evening.